how's it going everybody? Brett here with Double Shots and I'm excited today to be doing some updated reviews on YouTube TV and some updates that they've done to their channel modifications. Now before we go any further, if you like our content, subscribe to our channel. I'm going to thank Dylan for allowing me to go ahead and do this video. Give this video a big like if you like it, comment if you want to ask any questions or anything of that. Tell me how you like YouTube TV, if you use it, if it's something that is worth the price going from there. I am not getting paid anything in promotion for doing this video. It's based solely off my own independent research, review, and study of it. So let's go ahead and get started. YouTube TV, what is it? Well, they are a uh, streaming service provider. So when you say streaming service pro provider, in terms of it, instead of cable coaxial, you are using a wireless internet connection to go ahead and use their service. So I always recommend, number one, when using a uh, streaming service provider, to have an Amble band with something that can pull a lot of da data usage, therefore you can stream Ambly for it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do a lot of channels because some channels, if I do do them, they go ahead and they actually block uh, the, the the actual video. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see right here, it shows up with your networks. I'm going to go to right here to my local channel 5 and go from there. I'm in the St. Louis market actually. And it's actually got a very good clear picture. I like how fast it loads up everything going from there. Now the nice thing about it is there's no subscriptions. Uh, there's no subscription. When I say no subscription, I mean no contracts. So day one you sign up is the first day that you can go ahead and start using it. And there's a lot of devices you can use them on, such as Roku, Chromecast, Apple TV, LG TV, Samsung TV, PlayStation, Vizio TV, TiVo Stream, Xbox One, Android, iOS, Fire TV, and go from there. Now, some of the other things as far as off of it is no cable setup as far as off of it. No cable installer has to come in, charge you for boxes. You buy all your stuff pretty much up front. So therefore, if you buy a Fire TV, you buy it up front and it's yours pretty much. You don't have to have somebody that comes in, drills holes, goes from there, uh, has to move stuff around. You can move it freely, independently on your own terms. You can even cancel on your own terms. So if it's something you do not like, you can go ahead and cancel and go from there. There's no cancellation fees going from there. And right now, you actually can get the first month for $14.99. That's just for the package itself. So then with that, as far as off of it, let's go here we start. All right, let's go ahead and get into my handy dandy way to watch. Let's go ahead and back out. Now here's your home screen. This will show you everything that you have. If you have the 4K add-on, which I'll talk to you about that later, you can go ahead and go down to that. But pretty much it breaks it down by 4K streaming, shows, movies, sports, news, family, drama, etc. going on from there. So pretty much if there's something in the comedy section, it's going to show you that as far as off of it, what is all coming on and going from there. Then I would just go ahead and back out. And then let's go to live. This shows you everything you have in order. So these are some of the 85 plus channels that you do have. And I'm going to show you a couple channels that they have added now to it. So you have your CBS, your locals right here, PBS, Fox 4K. So now if you have the 4K package where you have that add-on, coming up on Saturday, April 30th at 3 o'clock, you can watch the USFL, which is the United States Football League, in 4K. Same thing with uh, coming up Thursday, April 28th, Manchester United versus Chelsea. You can watch that game in 4K. So it shows you everything there, but you have channels like Uni Univision, Comet, QVC, uh, TBS, TNT, ESPN, ESPN2, SEC Network, ACCN, ESPNU, ESPN News, FS1, FS2, MLB Network, MLB Network Alternative, NBA TV, Network, NFL Network, Games of the Week, CBS Sports, Golf, Olympic, Disney, Disney Junior, Disney XD, Universal Kids, Cartoon Network. So you have sports, you do have 
your kids as well too. You have your comedy, BBC America, CMT, Comedy Central, your comedy, Freeform, Family, FX, XXX, FXX, G4, FXM. And then here's something I want to show you that is brand new to them. If you look here, Hallmark Channel, Hallmark Drama, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. That is something that YouTube TV, TV has just recently brought on. And this is, it's actually a good deal for anybody that likes Heartland channels. Going from there, it's included with it now. So that is a plus. Now, one thing I will say, which is a downfall to YouTube TV, is if you are your local team in your area uh, for watching baseball, any of that, Bali Sports Network is not on it. So that is a downfall, but if you do not watch baseball or you do not need it or you don't suffice it, then this is really, really good for you, especially with those Heartland channels. You have IFC, MTV, MTV2, Paramount, Pop, TCM, True TV, USA, News Nation, National Geographic, Net Geo Wild, Animal Planet, Discovery, Smithsonian, Sci-Fi, Travel, TV Land, Bravo, Court TV, E, Food Network, HGTV. So when you go down this list of everything, you really do have a lot of stuff. Game Show Network, Wii TV, ABC. It has a little bit of everything. It has your news, CNN, Fox Business, Fox News Channel, Fox Weather, which is something newer. We'll go to that and see how that is and just kind of pull it up. And right now there's an add-on going from there. But it does pull up really, really quick. So I wanted to go ahead and let everybody see that. I think that's really, really cool. And then we'll go to, you have what's called your local now. You have MSNBC, NBC News. Weather Channel is on here. TYT and go and start TV, Cozy TV, Get TV, Sundance TV. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh. Go to, I guess, uh, Start TV and uh, see what goes on here. But see how quick it actually loads up from go going from there. So it really doesn't buffer much or anything of that nature. It has this. It, it's really seamless and going from there. Now, uh, again, they have some add-ons that you can go ahead and do for everything. You can get uh, right now. As far as off of it, you get your first month for $14.99. Then it's $64.99 a month for the 85 plus channels. It covers three streams. So pretty much you can have it streaming on three televisions simultaneously or phones, whatever you use at one time. Now, you have unlimited recording to the cloud DVR. For many people, as far as off of it, where would you find your cloud DVR service? You would go right here to your library, and then it would show everything right there. I actually do not have anything saved to my library as of right now. But if I had anything saved, I would go ahead and I would see it right in there. And let's say I I wanted to go ahead and watch People TV today. And now it's getting ready to go on to its next show. If I wanted to watch that and go from there, how fast it actually loads. Now, next thing as far as off of it that you could go ahead and do, uh, let's go to channel five here and show that. But pretty much as far as off of it, you get unlimited recording time to the cloud DVR. You can add channels like premium networks, like HBO Max, Showtime, Epics. Keep in mind they do cost a fee. Same thing with sports. You can add Fox Soccer Plus, Red Zone, uh, NFL Red Zone, and TVG. Hallmark channels, like I said before, they are now included. Now, here's another thing as far as off of it. They have something called 4K Plus Add-On. The 4K Plus Add-On allows you to watch shows that are in 4K, the availability towards it. That being said, if you add that, there is a fee. However, they do give you the first 30 days of it for free, a free trial of it just to test it out. You get 4K video quality. And then your three streams goes up to unlimited streams and then recording offline. So those are some bonuses that you do get with it. Overall, I give YouTube TV a very good solid review. Between them, I've never been shy of them. I have a very few selects 
They've actually moved up in my book a lot over the last couple months just because of some of the stuff that they've done. Feature-wise, what they've added to them. It's really, really become... They've really added some good things. The Hallmark channels, that was a biggie that they added to it. Uh, that is huge for anybody with the Heartland. Well, that once they have local channels included with it, $64.99 is not a bad deal. The downfall is Bally Sports Network is not on it. So your ho home local market of, uh, of watching baseball, you're not going to be able to watch it unless it's on ESPN, TBS, etc. like that. And I know Bali Sports is trying to make their own actual stuff to where you sub can subscribe to going from there. But otherwise, it's a really, really good service. I like it. This is one that I've actually started using a lot more uh, just because I like a lot of the features that it has. The price is modest. It does not break the bank. It's something that I always give a recommendation of. Uh, if I had to put that rating on it, I give it an a, a good solid A minus. It really does work really, really well. So there you go on this YouTube TV uh, review. Let me know what you like about it and uh, what you don't like about it. And again, I want to thank Double Shots for allowing me to be here, and I will see you in the next one.